moving forward, I want to talk about how to set up your repository for success here. But just to lay it out a little bit more fully, this is how I've set up my folder structure within the repository, where you have your overall .cloud folder, which this will be very important as we go through this video, as this is where you store commands, agents, as well as settings for what you allow Claude to do, what you deny it, what you ask it to. And then the overall Claude MD file, which are the instructions, the context that give Claude its knowledge on how to go through the workflow. And then really here is your projects. And so within the JIRA setup that I had, we actually called this projects folder tickets and then had a username. And then underneath that, you have your project name, which could be an individual ticket, like we showed in the last Jira video that I made with Con4, Con5, Con6. Um, I'll reference that Jira video below in the description as I think this covers it. But I have a standardized setup for these data analysis projects where there's queries, QC queries, notebooks, if you're doing Databricks notebooks as well, like I showed in one of my previous videos. And then ultimately a final deliverable section where at the end of the day, a lot of us data analysis professionals are providing a uh, analysis to our stakeholders for what they want and what they need. So while I found this repository structure really helpful and successful for my team, ultimately this is going to come down to you, to how you wanna set it up. However, the thing that every single repository is going to need in order for Claude code to be successful is this Claude MD files. So you might have heard of the term context engineering before. What the Claude markdown files, Claude MD files are, are bits of context that allow Claude code to follow workflow processes, have the knowledge that it has access to tools, and really have the built-in context for you to initiate a conversation with Claude code inside of a repo and have it be instantaneously successful with working within a particular workflow with specific tools and having the knowledge and access to the knowledge that needs in order to run the SQL queries, access the Jira project, go to Databricks, whatever other systems you have access to and have it work with those systems successfully.